Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I'm going to do a quick build video of my DF robot. See, it's the plus version. So, first step, I've already done this. I can't get it out, but I put it in. This is the battery. This is rechargeable lithium ion battery, 18650, 2600 uh, milliamps, 3.6 volts. I've already put it in. So I'm going to go to step two, which is install the risers and the brackets. So there was plastic covers over here. I did show this on camera, but you can see them right there and there and there. You just gotta remove those so that you can yeah, there it is, actually right there. Probably can't see those. These are so small. There's three standoffs, risers. He's got to That's interesting. There we go. This is one of the seat in there, right? Pretty straightforward, simple build. So when something doesn't seat in there, I just turn it both directions. Eventually it'll get going. There it goes. Check the directions. Okay. Line it up. So typically what I do when there's multiple screws that I have to screw in, I don't tighten I get them started, don't totally tighten them up until I get them all lined up. Just loosen a little bit. Uh, if you tighten up one, it kind of misaligns the other one, so that's why I like to get them all started. Tighten them down all the way, like like that way. I got them all started now. Now I'm going to tighten and since them all, they're all in there. Seated. Okay, that was step two. That was the bracket. So three is the wheels themselves. So the wheels come in two parts. Put this aside for a second. The rubber tires. The wheels themselves. Okay, so there's some uh, little notches. I 
So if, if, if you can see them here, can you see them? Hopefully. There's notches. There's four notches on the inside of the tires, and there's these four notches on the on these rims here. So you can line them up. The notches with the Hopefully you saw that. There's the notches lined up. See them right there, two, three, four. Get one side uh, started and then just kind of wrap it around. Okay. I'm going to, this is the inside of the wheel. That's the outside of the wheel. And then, I know it's really hard to see, but there's a little notch on this side. So you're gonna line it up. Don't force it. Oop, other way. Don't force it. You should easily just slide in there like that once you get the notches lined up together yeah that looks about right see there's the flat part right there to the bottom and there's the notch flat part right there so just a process of aligning it up wiggle a little bit don't force it front roller like I said this is pretty straightforward it's not too complicated step four there's a sonic sensor that comes with uh, in the kit this is the sonic sensor Ah, that's why a magnetic screwdriver is sometimes nice to have. So just get it started. Don't tighten it down really tight. So you get the other screw in there. I don't know what happened to my magnetic magnetic screwdriver. It to be disappeared. Okay, so now get it started. Don't tighten it all the way down till you get both in. Okay, both look like they got I got them in really well. So now I tighten them. Just hand tight. Pretty simple. Okay, get your micro bit. That I had mine right in front. There we go. Got my micro bit. It's the brains of the robot. So this is the. Uh, front of the micro bit yeah so this is the front of the micro bit it's just push down they're really easy there's a little LED there yes micro bit is by BBC I think I'm ready 
to put it uh, to plug it in see if it lights up there's the charge port right there for the uh, for the battery that's why I like the plus plus has a rechargeable battery so there's your on and off switch there we go Oh, there's a pre-installed program on uh, Microbit. Saying hello. Oh, press, I think it's saying press that button. Here we go. Press this button. Oh, <laughs> Ah, uh, there's a game. I think there's a game that I don't know how to play. I'll have to read the instructions, but. Okay, there's the battery indicator. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see, but it needs to be charged. There looks like there's two more lights, so it's half fifty percent charged. So I need to charge it up to get all four lights red. There's the LEDs. So on. Okay, that's pretty much all there is to build in it. Pretty simple, straightforward. That's what I like, especially for Steam streams, uh, STEM kits. The next video will we'll be getting into the programming and maybe we need to figure out how to. Uh, We need to install this vision vision sensor. Let me go this way. So there's there's uh, brackets I need to find. So I'll do that, and we'll go and start getting the programming. We need to. I don't see anything in instructions on how to install the the sonic sensor. Where do you plug the sonic sensor in? Oh, I'm gonna have to find those uh, those directions. Here's the uh, this is keyed, so it can only go in one way. So I'm gonna have to find out. That'll be my next step is to find out how to plug in the sonic sensor. So let's see if it's really simple and easy to do.
Nope. That's interesting. I'll have to look through it, but yeah, this plugs in. I'll have to plug it in. Okay. Decent, not great, but decent start. So, come back and I'll show you how to install the sonic sensor and the vision here. I'll do that. I'll figure that out next for the next video. Okay, thanks. Cool. Thanks for watching.